Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome to Joyful Living. If you're new here, we talk about home organization and lifestyle and just all of the things that bring me joy. And today I am bringing you a video with a complete clean out, overhaul and transformation of my tiny little laundry room. And uh, yeah, I didn't even spend any money. That's not entirely true. I spent a little bit of money, but not very much. And I'm really glad that you're here. So first of all, I had to film up here because there's snow. I live about 40 minutes north of Atlanta and there's a lot less now than there was a little bit ago, but it snowed a lot, a lot, a lot, and it was so fun. And all day long, I've been trying to get my act together to get up here and film, because I was like, I have to show them the snow. But that is not what this video is about. This video is about the bane of my existence in this house. The one part of this house that when we looked at it, I was like, I cannot stand this one space. And we've been in the house now four years, and I still have yet to make peace with this space, to kind of give it a big warm hug and say thank you for the service you provide to our family. But yesterday, I did it. We spent a beautiful 12 hours together and I think I have finally made peace with my laundry room. The before here is frightening and please don't judge me. So, so in my defense, we don't have a lot of storage on the first floor of our home, but we have a ton of storage in the basement. So the laundry room kind of became the dumping ground for things that kind of really should be down in the basement, but ended up in the laundry room. So I, I had to go through several steps. I'm gonna show you what that looked like. I'm gonna tell you in advance that I ended up throwing a ton of stuff away. There were so many things in there that were either old or broken or like laundry that had stains that I somehow delusionally thought I was gonna turn into a person that got stains out of laundry. P.S. I'm not that person. Uh, just, you know, stuff that needed to be donated, socks with holes in them. It, it, was, it was an embarrassingly raw experience, but it is done. It is beautiful. And you know what? I'm going to stop talking. Let, let's go look at what I did yesterday. Welcome to my room of shame. <laughs> No, not room of shame. More like my Monica closet. If you are a Friends fan, what you see behind you is my laundry room. It has been my nemesis since we bought this home. It's too small. My systems don't work. And I am in desperate need of an efficiency and organizational makeover in this space. I don't even know what I'm going to do yet, but I know that you guys are going to come with me. So let's get started. So my goals for today, and this may end up being a two day project if I need to go out and do some shopping, are to clear the space and to make some decisions about what I really want to have in here. And then tomorrow, I hope to kind of clean it up and pretty it up and really come up with a system that will work. The biggest thing that I find is if I come up with a good system and then all I have to do is maintain it, then I'm golden. Uh, I'm really proud of my master closet, my linen closet, spaces that get a ton of use around here that are always in great shape because they're really easy to reorganize once we've messed them up. It's a five, 10 minute proposition. The reason I know the systems in this room don't work is this is a weekly frustration for me. No matter how many times I clean it up, we end up a disaster again within usually a week or so, which means the systems are the problem, not the people. So if you have an area in your house and you are typically pretty organized, but there's that one space, maybe it's your coat closet, maybe it's your office, then I would say it's not you, it's your systems. So I'm going to need to come up with some systems that will work in here. And I'll need to do a follow-up video, right? Because I won't know if what I do today works for several more weeks as we use the space. And we'll see if not only I can keep it neat and organized, but if my family can as well. So let's start by just clearing it out. This is my least favorite part. I like the buying things and prettying it up part. I don't like the cleaning out. It's awful. Okay, this is like the worst before ever. <laughs> I am so embarrassed, but I purposely didn't clean anything up because I wanted to be 100% authentic. There's my husband's pool bag hanging randomly from the Alpha shelving unit that is not supposed to look like that. Boy, isn't that true? If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. We have got cupboards that are completely underutilized. 
I don't even really know what's in here, you guys. There's random bird seed. Why? I have absolutely no idea. Obviously, I had just gotten back from Costco, so I've got some Costco stuff to put away. It looks like I kind of tried to get organized, but there are just chemicals I never use. Why is there a laptop case? Why? <laughs> space is cleaned out of everything. I've taken everything out of the cupboards. I've taken everything off of all of the shelves. And now is the part in this process that I feel like a lot of people skip. They get rid of a lot of stuff. They make it look really pretty. And I even see it in videos that I watch here on YouTube, but they don't really think through the functionality. And I want to be clear before I do one more thing that you guys understand that this makeover is for function, not form. No one sees this laundry room but me and it has to work. And that is another one of my big tips. Don't buy a thing until you've sorted it through and you're sure what you're going to store in the space. When I worked at a large storage and organizational store, uh, I won't say what it, well, I guess I can say it. I used to work for the container store. They, they liked me there. <laughs> Uh, the, the biggest thing I saw when people would come in and were so frustrated is they had a disastrous space and their first instinct was to go buy things, to buy containers and bins and baskets. And more often than not, I would tell them, you need to go back home. I want you to purge and then I want you to come back in with pictures that you can show me and together we'll figure out what will work in your space because the spaces here are weird. I'm going to want to measure. I'm going to want to figure out exactly what's going to go in these cupboards and I have a lot already around this house. Uh, you probably saw there was that drawer piece that I had in between the washer and dryer. I may or may not utilize that again in this space. I definitely need to clean it up but I would really like to repurpose things I already own as I would like to not buy anything new if I can get away with it. So let's get back in here what needs to go in here and then I can really see it visually and think through what types of containers might be best. Okay here is everything that came out of there and there's more over here. All of that that I need to go through and figure out what needs to stay and what needs to go. Okay, so um, I've made some progress and I'm getting ready to take a break for the day because that is another one of my big tips is uh, don't try to do too much in one sitting or you will get overwhelmed. I have several things to go through that are still out there in the kitchen. So I'm going to put on a movie and go through those. I'm not going to do a stop footage or what do you call that? Like a time lapse because I don't want to. <laughs> But I do want to point out something. So um, we have too many light bulbs. I don't, I think what happens is every time we go to Costco, we're not sure if we have light bulbs, so we pick up light bulbs. So one big benefit to have gotten all of the light bulbs from all over the house and putting them in one spot is I know for sure what I've got. So light bulbs are here. Up here I've got some smaller light bulbs, you know, the little chandelier light bulbs and ones like that are there in that little green basket. 
I've got my um, Kleenex up there and then my extras of hand soap are right there. And then over here, and this may not stay this way, I have put my, let me see if I can turn you guys around. Don't get dizzy. Hold on. Okay. So over here, let me scoot that up a little bit. Okay, and now I moved you. Hi, over here I've got backstock of paper towels. I also put backstock, back stop. I also put backstock of paper towels up on the alpha shelf, and I will show you guys a picture of that when that's all completed. But I've got three rolls right here because that shelf is actually really high for me, so I either need a step stool or a tall child. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got the dryer sheets and my Tide Pods here. I'm not sure if these will stay here. Um, the boys have voiced that they really do like them when they're out on top of the washer. I'm not sure why it's a big deal to just get into the cabinet that's right above the washer, but evidently it is. So, um, still not sure about that. I'm gonna clean out all of the other stuff that I took out of this space and figure out what, if any of that, needs to come back in. And then tomorrow we will assess what, if anything, we need to buy to complete the space. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling good. Feeling like we're making progress. That's what's important. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pause right here in the footage and just tell you that at this point in this process, I was getting exhausted. I am kind of like a dog with a bone when it comes to a project to my own detriment. I'm not good about understanding when I'm starting to get fatigued. My kitchen looked like a disaster because everything from the laundry room ran out into the kitchen. And I was at that point in a project where you're like, why do I start anything ever? And I was actually really sorry I had ever begun. And I thought, okay, I need a change in, in what was what does Jimmy Buffett say? Changes in latitude, changes in attitude. I'm like, for me, my change in latitude was to get in my vehicle and head to the container store. Because even if I didn't spend a lot of money, which by the way, I didn't, I spent less than $100. I knew that there I might get some inspiration and if nothing else, I would get out of my house for a few minutes, get out of my own head for a few minutes and be in a nice, clean, orderly space. And sure enough, that did the trick. So I'm gonna put here a little bit of that part. Okay, so I'm just leaving the container store. I kind of abandoned my project for a minute, mostly because I had made such a huge mess that I still needed to go through that I was like, I need a break. So I came here. I, of course, uh, got to find some great things that I'm excited about that I am crossing my fingers they fit. Um, if they do fit, it's going to be super cute. And uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens next. So stay tuned. Okay guys, the space is complete. It is the next day. I am rested. I worked into the night, which I should not have done, but it is done. I ended up buying those little boxes at the container store that are there on the top. I put my step stool in here, over here where the utility sink is. I put this little Disney sign. You can see my back stock of paper towels is up there. In the cabinets, I've got my light bulbs all beautifully labeled, also some uh, cleaning vinegar in there, my Kleenex, some candles, and some um, backstock of hand soap. And then I purchased um, these baskets I already had, but I bought this little trash can for dryer sheets and um, you know, just little bits of lint from the dryer trap, things like that. You always need a place to put that. And my boys did win. I put the detergent and the dryer sheets on top of the dryer. This magnetic hook is holding this laundry bag that will be for Scott's dry cleaning. I'm so excited about this because it won't just get thrown on top of the washing machine. Also up here, I've got a couple of rolls of paper towels like I talked about, an enormous amount of back stock of dryer sheets. And in here I have various laundry bags. Uh, they actually go to the boys' hampers, so I'm not sure if those are gonna stay there. But I've got some bleach and some OxyClean and then the rest of the Tide Pods that I can refill the package on top of the washer. Over here on the side by the stepladder, I've tucked this flat laundry basket. Is this the greatest? It came in a two pack from Costco and it folds up flat like that. And when it opens up, it's a full size laundry basket with handles, which will be so great when I'm carrying laundry up the steps. Overall, I am so happy with the space. Uh, it's clean, it's organized, it expresses a little bit of personality, but it will also function really, really well for our family. 
And here we have our before, a disastrous mess with stuff and garbage and overstock everywhere to a clean, orderly space that I really do feel like I will enjoy being in and doing laundry. Okay, so there are a few products in this space that I wanted to kind of circle back around and make sure you guys knew about. My favorite are these multi-purpose bins from the Container Store. I have these in probably every room in my house. They work great under the kitchen sink, they work great into the bathroom sink, and as you saw in the laundry room, I've used it to organize uh, light bulbs, but you can use them in your pantry for kids' snacks. They are called multi-purpose bins. I want to say that it was all of $6.95. I'll look up the price and insert it right here. And I'll also put the link to them um, in the description box on the Container Store website. Catherine from Do It On A Dime says something that I absolutely love. You have to reorganize a space as many times in a year as you use it in a week. I use the laundry room three to four times per week, so that means three to four times per year. I'm gonna need to be in there re-evaluating, purging, and deciding if the space still works for me. I have to tell you, I'm very pleased with the way it came out. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'll be having lots more organizational videos coming up. And actually, we're getting ready to start the remodel of our master bathroom, and I'll be doing a lot of videos around that as well. Have a great day. I hope whatever you're doing, you're finding joy, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.